will Modi 3.0 be better compared to Modi 2.0 or will it be worse? Bear with me, the list is very long, so I'll read the questions first to create some excitement for you. So, has Prime Minister Modi reached his prime? Is it maximum for him? Can he get no more votes or win any other election? So, has he maxed out his potential? This is the first question. Number two, will Modi resign? Or he will be forced to resign? Number three, will Yogi Adityanath oust PM Modi? Will that happen? Will he become so popular that Modi will be like, no, I have to leave now. So, then number four. Recently, there was a video where one Aslo just said that Yogi Adityanath is the new Modi. So, he is referring to the 2014-13 timeline. And then he said, Modi is the new Vajpayee. Okay. And Amit Shah is the new Advani. So, will this work in my opinion? Number five, will Article 370 return as the National Conference has won the JNK elections now? And it was a part of the election theme that they will remove Article 370. And uh, so, sorry, they will restore Article 370. Okay. So, will Article 370 return or uh, will it will it be out for eternity? All right. Number six, what will happen in the state elections? Hmm. Interesting. Number seven, what about Amit Shah's period? Okay, so many people are predicting that, you know, Amit Shah is gone. It's like his days are over. Okay. <laughs> All right. Number eight, when can Modi do something like, you know, make a new United Nations? Can he uh, do something so grand at an international level? Or can he mediate between the Israel, Israel and the Middle East conflict or the Russia-Ukraine conflict? If he can, when can that happen? The number nine is uh, Himanta Biswa Sarma's upcoming period. He's the chief minister from uh, where I come, Assam. So what will happen? How does the upcoming years look for him? Then, of course, Pakistan occupied Kashmir. If it comes, when it will come? <laughs> And then what about Kashi and Mathura? All these things, right? And Waqf Amendment Bill also. And last but not the least, uh, what about the Deep State and the United States of America, right? So these are interesting questions which people have forwarded to me in WhatsApp and Instagram especially. And I've tried to club down everything. And recently I also made a video on, I made two similar videos and there are some questions where I'm, which I've collected from there also. Okay. So now, before going into these questions, I would like to answer, uh, so I would like to inform certain things which have happened from uh, Prime Minister Modi's recent birthday, which was on 17th of September. So I made a video on 17th September where I mentioned uh, categorically that it's a massive uh, positive period for the BJP and Prime Minister Modi. And because he's the Prime Minister, it will also be a great diplomatic period for India victory in the diplomatic side so I will list down certain things which have happened uh, from them from then okay and these are not in any order I've just clubbed everything so the recently uh, so I think on 17th or 18th uh, Amit Shah said that the Waqf amendment bill will be passed uh, in the uh, winter session of the parliament so this is something which I also said that most likely it can be passed uh, from this uh, this 17th September to 13th of April. Then, uh, recently, two, three days back, uh, Mr. Muizu uh, from, uh, yeah, Maldives, he came and uh, he got like uh, 400 million US dollars, okay, from India. So, he was the same person um, who was, you know, wearing this t-shirt of, you know, India out. So it's a great diplomatic victory, as you can see, you know, as when the periods changed for Modiji. Then recently, Canada, so Canada, as you know, made a statement accusing India in openly in front of everybody in their parliament, right, accusing India of, you know, meddling in their internal affairs. Uh, and recently they have made a statement that Canada does not support India's division. Mm -hmm. Interesting, really. 
is it like a statement or a compulsion now considering your uh, recent political developments in canada nonetheless this is again another positive development then india has reached uh, from 600 it has reached 700 billion us dollars of forex reserves uh, is the only uh, is the fourth only country in the world to have achieved that feat okay this is another great news then certain funny things also ex prime minister of pakistan imran khan invites dr s jay shankar for help i mean it's ridiculous as it gets right <laughs> nonetheless and then we saw Dr. S. Jashankar gave sharp rebuttals to the United States, you know, and Iran also on uh, certain comments which they made. Jashankar Saab said, oh, okay, you are entitled to make comments on India, but I am also entitled to reply and don't feel bad if I reply back, okay? And don't try to put India into these two groups, like, you know, either you are US or Russia. Don't try to fix India there. We are a group of our own. That is what he said. Then the next positive development uh, was center approved the one nation one election this also happened after september if you can see and then of course there was some other news also like you know uh, fatf the financial action task force uh, they raised india's anti money laundering act and then usa also returned like you know 300 stolen artifacts to india the, these are these are victories at a diplomatic level of course <clears throat> but primarily uh, the one from maldives that was that was really big okay and also in that video, I warned of some fake news, false news, which could be spread. And this kind of also happened. So on 18 September, Donald Trump said that, you know, India abuses free trade agreement with the USA. <laughs> and there was also another fake news that Modi is going, uh, Trump said Modi, uh, I, I will meet Modi when he comes there. And then later on, it, it was like, you know, oh, it, it was never there. Okay. So there was another fake news that uh, Indian weapons were sent to Ukraine. So India rejected this report from American media. So it uh, seems it was again fake news. And then USA, US court summoned four Indians, including India's national security advisor, uh, Sri Ajit Dovalji. And of course, the crux of all the fake news was Trump will meet Modi, all right, which never happened. All right. So this is the update from my video on 17 september as you can see i warned about fake news and spread fake news has been spreading and also in that video i categorically said that uh, anyways let's discuss the state thing we already have this year all right so now the first question is prime minister modi's prime over <laughs> so he uh, had uh, this third uh, third term, but it was not a clear majority. Uh, he could do it through Nitish Kumar and Chandra Babu Naidu's uh, assistance and help and some other parties. But people are starting to talk, you know, is it like the Modi era is over, you know, or like Modi's, the Modi factor is gone, you know, the Modi wave is gone. Now, as per astrology, if I use astrology and try to see his chart, I don't think any of that is true. So I think the next three years are phenomenally powerful for Prime Minister Modi and he will do massive things. He will do big things, great things for India at a international level and also at a state level, uh, national level. Okay. So his prime is far from being over. His prime is yet to come. This is what I believe, especially till September 2027. He will do massive things. So, I don't think his prime has come yet, okay? I mean, I'm not saying that he will do something like, you know, uh, so big that, you know, uh, nobody has ever done. I'm, I'm not saying that, but he's, he is very likely to do bigger things like what he has done in the past or maybe even something compared to that, a bit bigger than that, you know, compared to Modi 2.0, okay? So, number two, Will Prime Minister Modi resign? I mean, this is ridiculous. I, I don't understand why why astrologers are floating and, you know, pumping this narrative that, you know, Modi will resign, he will hand it over to Yogi. I, I don't understand. I, and I'm not saying this as an astrologer. I'm saying this as a normal human being because if you see 
Prime Minister Modi's recent speeches. I mean, do you, even if you don't know astrology, do, do you, <laughs> from any side, have you ever felt that this person is going to resign in, you know, like next one to three years? <laughs> Does it look that he's going to resign? Now, I'm not saying this from a moral perspective. Is it good or bad? You know, that, that you decide, depending on which side of the political spectrum you are. But do you think, you go and see his speeches, forget last six months, just see last three months after the after losing Lok Sabha election without, you know, without getting a full majority. Just see. And recently there was an event, I forgot the name, where he also went and said, this is the 10th year or, you know, I will come the next time. So basically he's hinting that he will also contest the next election if it is in 2029, but now there are talks of you know, this delimitation and new parliament and all this. So, because of delimitation, the elections could be, you know, postponed or preponed. So, he will contest the next election, in my opinion. And there is no way he's going to resign. So, please, whoever is uh, doing all this, you know, like pumping this narrative you know, that he's going to resign, he's going to leave, he's going to go to the Himalayas and he's going to rest there, you know, I don't think that's happening very soon, okay? Now, it might happen, age is not on his side, he's like 70, yes, he's he turned 74, this is 75th year, but I don't see that happening anytime, you know, like 2-3 years, 4-5 years, it may happen after 2034 or after September 2033, this is what I think is a slight possibility, but I don't think it's happening in the next one or two years, especially not in 2026. Certainly not. It's not happening, in my opinion. Now, one thing could happen. He may give it out of his free will. He may give it and he may leave, okay? But no person, this is question number three, can will Yogi Atityanath oust PM Modi? So the answer is no. I don't think that Yogi Ji or anybody, even... Nitin Gatkari or anybody has that level of mass appeal in the Indian voter base as of today. We don't know what happens after five years. But today, as I'm making this video, today is 9th of October 2024. I don't think there's anybody within the BJP with that same level of mass appeal to the voters. You may say, you know, North India or whatever, North India, West India, East India, you know, part, Central, South India, of course, there's not much... Uh, appeal there for the BJP and Modi but within within the within the BJP I don't think there is anybody even close to him even though his popularity might have declined to some extent okay so I certainly think that he will bounce back and you will see this in the upcoming month so I don't think going back to question number one is his prime over I certainly doubt that his prime is over okay it's just maybe beginning <laughs> Alright, so will Yogi Adityanath oust PM Modi? Question number three, the answer is no. If Modi voluntarily wants to give and go, he may. That he may do tomorrow morning, we never know. But in my opinion, he will not do that for the next at least four to five years. He is not doing that in my opinion. He, his chart does not show any no, any coup happening against him and, you know, he losing everything or he voluntarily resigning uh, and, you know, going... Now, there is one other thing which is floating around which uh, was said by a person in a uh, famous podcast that, you know, Modi might become president. Okay. Now, this may or may not be true. But when we see using astrology, we cannot say will the person become president or prime minister. But what we can certainly say is if the, per if the person will remain relevant politically and the, the answer is 100 percent yes till 2033 i see he is relevant very much okay so even if he's president uh but he will still be very powerful and very influential so i doubt that just by you know becoming president and you know you will be like you know just gone or something like that I, I don't think that's happening okay nor will somebody be able to take the power from him nor will uh, he give it to somebody. But again, you know, giving is out of free will. He may do it tomorrow morning, any day the news may come. But it won't be forceful. This is what I'm trying to tell you, okay? So I'm not saying that he will not hand it over to Yogiji someday. But it will be 
out of his free will and not by force. So this is something you have to understand. Okay. So number three is God. Number four, Yogi the new Modi, Modi the new Vajpayee, Amit Shah the new Advani. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> okay, not in my opinion at least because the scenario is very different. See, when Advani was there, so when Vajpayee was there, 2004, they lost the election. But Advani ji was not the front face, it was Vajpayee ji, okay. And then when Vajpayee was gone from the front, Advani ji, he lost two consecutive elections and he lost very badly. Okay, it is not like, you know, like current uh, seat, seat uh, number of seats that BJP has got, like 240. It was much lesser than that. If you go and see, you know, the last two Lok Sabha elections, you know, where, where Advani was there, you know, before 2014. Okay, so it was much less than that. Okay, so therefore, uh, you can, the, the current situation is not a similar situation because in this situation, one person has been in power for two consecutive times and third time also fell short of majority, but not like, you know, they just got 100 seats, okay? And then like, you know, you were wiped out. No, not like that. So it's 240, it's just like, you know, a few, a few dozen seats short of majority, okay? And if you see India's history, you know, like India has had a history of coalition government. So from 2014, even the NDA, even uh, the UPA government, which was there before, that was also like a coalition. Okay, but yes, Congress was a very prominent uh, party in that and it had majority of the control, right? So therefore, <clears throat> that is not the current day situation. And I mean, there there is no question that I see that, you know, somebody like Modi come coming and like it happened to Advani like you know Modi kind of became more popular than him so I don't think anything any of that can happen now at least for the next two to three years in my opinion it's certainly not happening 100% it may happen after 2033 but not now okay and there's one man who we have not discussed Amit Shah we'll discuss him now <laughs> All right, Amit Shah is coming. All right, be patient. Now, number five, will Article 370 return? Hmm. So, the National Conference, they have, that was like, you know, a pre-election thing, that like uh, election manifesto. I don't know if it was, it was written, but it was boldly proclaimed that once we win and they have won, that, you know, we will now bring back the special status of Jammu and Kashmir, which is, which was given by 370 and we will restore that, okay? But will that happen now? Here's one interesting thing. You can see that from yesterday's victory of BJP in the Haryana elections and BJP's decent good performance in Jammu and Kashmir in winning, you know, many majority of the seats in Jammu, today itself, uh, the national conference leader, you know, Abdullah, he has said that, you know, we want cordial relationship with the center, right? <laughs> you can see his speech, you know, he has given it somewhere in the interview. Somebody sent that to me and I saw and I was like, wow. <laughs> so, so don't worry. I don't think Article 370 is coming back at least till the time Modi is there. I don't think that's coming back. Okay. So, and don't forget. JNK is still a union territory. So the powers will be shared between the uh, lieutenant governor and, you know, the supposed chief minister, of course. So you don't know what happens there. You know, and no party will want to be at odds with the lieutenant governor. And that means you have to cooperate with the central government. Okay. And that means you cannot bring back Article 370. All other issues might be discussed and there may be negotiations, but... I don't think Article 370 is something where BJP will want to negotiate. This is one of the non-negotiable things for the BJP, in my opinion. So, I don't think that is any way possible. For now, at least, at least for the next, you know, a few years. May happen after 10, 20 years, after Modi ji is gone, or if somebody else is the Prime Minister, or you know, whatever else. So, Hypothetically, can it come back someday? Well, maybe yes, it can come back, you know, if something disastrous happens. 
but till the time modi is there as an active politician it is not happening okay i don't think that will happen so keep it out of your head it's not coming back okay number 6 what about the state elections like maharashtra and uh, you know i think it is chatisgarh or where where is the new jharkhand sorry there is an election i think in jharkhand in the upcoming month so again just because modi ji is having a good time it does not mean you know he will sweep all the elections okay now of course they did very well in haryana but when i made the video on 17 september i, I already uh, gave the disclaimer in the pinned comment section that <clears throat> this is not a guarantee for victory in all the state elections so don't don't think bjp will win all state elections but having said that because uh prime minister modi he is like you know the supreme leader of the party of bjp so because he has a very good time for the next 3 years at least so they may lose some elections or they may win some elections at the state level but overall at a national level and at a international level his popularity will rise it will increase okay many 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 times so uh, in my opinion he will he will be able to you know either uh, go there and campaign himself or manage the elections in a way that even if they are winning uh, that's great or even if they are losing it will not affect him so much at a national level okay so for example uh, if you see in haryana so haryana and you know delhi they are very close so if bjp would have lost haryana there was more chan there were more chances of you know, you know all like farmer protests or or the wrestler protests or the agni veer protests to happen because these protests has uh, are are more you know especially the farmer than the wrestlers protests like primarily in the punjab and uh, aryana region so delhi would have been completely encircled if there were further protests okay but now since Uh, bjp will retain power so it may not be very uh, easy to come and encircle delhi uh, through uh, haryana okay i mean it can happen but i am saying from a law and order perspective the haryana police will try to stop whatever is uh, and do whatever is required to stop them from uh, coming to delhi okay so in that way it is an advantage uh, like you know location wise and also uh, again i mean uh, so whatever happens in the state can indicate what happens at a national level but it does not mean 100% okay like for example uh, we saw what happened in up uh, yogi atyanath won the state elections right he became chief minister for the second time but then what happened uh, in the lok sabha elections bjp lost okay so yeah so you can take the state in the elections as an indicator but it is not a direct indicator and the vice versa also just because you have won nationally does not mean you will win all the states but bjp will have upper hand this is what i can say okay so but for specific elections it will depend on the chief ministerial candidates of those specific areas okay now the next question number 7 amit shah ji what's going on with him so or amit shah ji i see there are some difficulties but his major period is changing from 22nd october this year 2024 okay so from his birthday of this year i see that he will become more tough more aggressive more strong more powerful more merciless maybe <laughs> <laughs> to somebody i don't know but i see that he he will exert himself to the fullest okay so after september this year and because he is the home minister and in my opinion even if bjp wins the next election he will most likely still continue to be the home minister right i mean this is my uh, guess uh, as it is now so the next 7 years for amit shah so from october this year till the next 7 years okay exact 7 years i see he is exerting himself more and he is achieving good success okay although in between there are one or two years where he may have you know some defamation downfall and all this but overall i see his graph is also going up okay so therefore for uh, 
ओ मेरे मिस्टर अमित शाह आई सी दैट ही विल वॉन्ट टू स्ट्रिक्टली वर्क ऑन यू नो लाइक ऑल नेशनल सिक्योरिटी इशूज लाइक टेररिज्म नक्सलिज्म एंड सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स विच हैव बीन क्रिएटिंग ट्रबल इन इंडिया लाइक यू नो फ्रॉम मेनी मेनी डेकेज यू नो एंड स्पेशली सम इशूज विद यू नो बॉर्डर स्टेट्स एंड विद द बॉर्डर सो वॉट एवर कम्स अंडर होम मिनिस्ट्री सेंट्रल होम मिनिस्ट्री यू नो पुलिस आर्मी एंड ऑल दिस डिफेंस नॉट सो मच यू नो लाइक डिफेंस बट येस डिफेंडिंग योर ओन कंट्री इन साइड योर कंट्री राइट सो दैट विल बी हिज प्राइम फोकस एंड हु नोस मे बी देर इज क्लोजर इन सर्टेन थिंग्स एंड आई थिंक रिसेंटली ही ऑल्सो मेड अ स्टेटमेंट दैट बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स वी विल एलिमिनेट नक्सलिज्म एंड ऑल दिस फ्रॉम आवर कंट्री अगेन इट्स सब्जेक्ट टू एनालिसिस एंड लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स ओके which is the next all right so united nations permanent seat in the security council uh, israel uh, war and ukraine russia war mediation when that can happen there is a possibility even today uh, there was somebody today or yesterday they made a statement that uh, pm modi should try to go and uh, yeah mediate the war in israel okay but i don't think that's going to happen very soon and even you know uh, there were positive developments in case of uh, india's permanent seat into the security council so i can give you one period which is september of 2025 to september of 2026 <clears throat> so this one year is a period where he may do something big which will elevate his stature at an international level okay so that could be that he might mediate uh, both of these conflicts or one of these at least or he might you know start a new united nations or you know brics currency or something could be there okay but whatever it is it will be massive at an international level okay it's like becoming the king of the entire world something similar to that okay <clears throat> now number 9 himanta biswas sharma what about his periods so for him i see uh, that there are some difficulties but in general till january 2029 Uh, so till february 2029 i see uh, his periods are quite favorable okay in general with challenges so the property prices in assam can go up you know like investments can come in and in my knowledge there is already a investor summit for the first time in assam uh, very soon in some months i don't know if it is this year or the next year but i had the news i'm not sure if it's still there but if it was declared i'm sure it's there okay then of course pakistan occupied kashmir and some other issues like you know kashi uh, vishwanath temple uh, and mathura when that can happen <clears throat> so essentially i said in the 17 september video that these things can happen any time uh, for the next 3 years till september 2027 but specifically september 2026 to september 2027 it it is more likely that it might happen during this time okay now i don't think there will be bullets or war uh, through through which all this will happen but i think it will be done uh, through peaceful means this is what i think okay <laughs> so now i don't know how it will be done but i don't see any bloody conflict uh, till the next years especially for pok or kashi or mathur i don't see that okay and last but not the least united states of america and the deep state so this is what i said already in the sep- in, uh, video on 17 september that uh, fake news will be rampant okay so therefore uh, he has to be very careful and he has to make sure that uh, if there is fake news then the rebuttal is given otherwise the next 3 years can be extremely difficult for him and there could be problems okay with uh, with fake news there could be you no know, false propaganda against him so yeah he has to be careful regarding that and last but not the least one problem that he could have is you know like inflation increases in india okay because lot of money is coming in you know like stock market uh, and all this uh, like going up property prices going up so everything can be a bit inflated so maybe he has to see that how inflation has to be kept under control all right so essentially uh, the periods are very positive for the next 3 years and especially till mid of april next year i have i have already made the video now uh, it's a great period and i'm sure in the next 3 years he will do massive things all right so let us see what happens and how things pan out but until then please let me know down in the comments what did you like about this video if you made it so far
<laughs> and what are the things that you think will not happen, which I said. All right. So thank you very much. Please take care. Jai Sia Ram.